What up YouTube, Soul Food SF here. Happy Friday finds to you all. I hope you guys had a good week pulling up these vintage gems. I got some cool shoes, a couple hats, a couple accessories that I don't normally get, but had to pick them up, and some cool clothes. Shout out to TVS, the whole fam, all the teams. Uh, most importantly, shout out to all of my subscribers. Every single one of you, I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in, checking out these videos, because I know you guys appreciate uh, vintage clothing as much as I do. Or at least I hope you do. With that being said, I pray that back to school shopping is over because this week was a serious, serious grind for me. I, I traveled major miles, went to, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know how many stores I went to. It was a lot. And just to find one or two items. But that's the fun of this. That's the nature. You know, the nature of the beast. You got to dig to find things. And if you have to stay in a thrift store for an hour, and dig through all the clothes to find one thing, it's worth it to me. All right, let's go through and see some of this vintage goodness. Uh, we got these vintage Gecko Hawaii shorts. Um, they're pretty cool. I like the drawstring. I used to wear bracelets like this when I was a kid. So those are extra larges on the back. You got the bright pink um, and the Gecko on the pocket. So those are pretty cool. Um, vintage San Jose Sharks. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. With the Taz, it's from 93. There is, um, it looks like some paint there. I didn't see that. It was only 99 cents, but the rest of it's pretty good. So I think that's a large. Yeah, that's a size large. I uh, grabbed that. This was pretty cool. Grambling, Tigers all over print. Um, you can see the football guy going diagonally across. Cool shirt, same thing on the back, pretty much. Size large, grab that. Uh, vintage Deadstock Dallas Cowboys, logo seven. Striped sleeve. So, logo seven, the sticker's still there. Pristine condition, nothing wrong with it. Um, sucker for striped sleeves, say that all the time. Size large. Uh, Chicago Bears, striped sleeve, logo seven. Um, very, very minimal cracking. I think it's, what was it? It's like three bucks. Size large. It's a nice V-neck, um, grab that, nothing on the back. Vintage San Francisco Giants by Nutmeg. You guys have seen a lot of these shirts pop up recently. Um, it's a size XL, Giants on the front, and then it's got Giants coming out the back. That was pretty cool. We got this vintage Oakland A's batting practice jersey. It's like from the early 90s. Uh, nothing too major about it. It's a size large, but it'll probably fit like a, a medium. Um, this is a big jersey, Boston Bruins. It's a starter authentic. So it's got the center ice right there, 60R. So I don't really know hockey sizes, but that's a large jersey. But it's got the fight strap there, starter NHL. It's blank on the back, but picked it up for 10 bucks. Um, pretty nice, nice jersey. Uh, we got some basketball jerseys. We got this starter Orlando Magic. It's just size 48. It's pretty blank, but it's basically brand new. There's nothing on the back. Nothing on the back. It's a nice jersey. We got a Penny Hardaway champion, size 48, beautiful condition. Six bucks. Hardaway on the back. Um, Grant Hill Pistons, size 48, um, pretty pristine. Also, I got these at the same place, so I'm assuming the same person turned them in. And then Golden State Warriors Joe Smith, size 36. Um, big. Uh, Big lettering. There's like a minor, minor crack right there, but that's about it. Pretty nice. Uh, this is vintage Deadstock Dallas Cowboys Taz crew neck. It's got the striped sleeves right there. Um, I actually, when I bought this for four dollars, I didn't even know it came with the tags. The tags were stuffed in there. I said that's in great condition, and I brought it home. And there's the tags. So it's from '94. Um, we got this vintage Raiders crew neck. It's kind of like a diamond design. This is all embroidered. So it gets bigger uh, right there. I got this for a dollar. So I'll let it go for cheap. Um, there's a patch right there. There is some staining that I can't get off. It's like, you can't really see it. There's like a bleach line right there. It is a size XL. So nothing on the back, but for a dollar, what the hell. All right, vintage Lakers starter satin. I got a yellow one not too long ago. Um, this is a size XL. I got this for $3. Like, 
that's ridiculous. That's pretty much free. A little wear on the buttons, but there's no staining on it. Starter right there. I mean, $3 for a satin starter is ridiculous. I don't care who you are. That's ridiculous. All right, two favorite jackets. All right, these actually made my week. So shout out to the Iceman289. He got one of these and I commented on it. I said, this is a dope as hell jacket. Uh, vintage Chalkline Fanimation, LA Kings. You got the flags and the NHL on the sleeve and on the back. You got the giant old school Fanimation goalie mask. Looks almost robotic. It's pretty crazy. Um, that's a great find, size large. And with that one, I found this one. Um, shout out Cali Just One. I think he has this jacket. But the uh, the Raiders Fanimation. You got the Raiders on the sleeves, and on the back you got the huge Raiders Fanimation design. So these two jackets probably made my week. Um, I've never found those. I find those randomly, but those were a great find. All right, shout out to the Philly. Uh, the Philly Heads, Delio Miller, basically I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, it's kind of used, size large. Um, it's kind of wrinkled. I need to wash it and maybe dry clean it, but starter right there. Starter, or I mean, uh, eagle on the back. Pretty cool. All right, San Francisco 49ers, logo athletic shark tooth jacket. And I am an absolute idiot because when I wash this, I accidentally used hot water. And we all know when you use warm water on something, what does it do to white and red? The sleeve is now pink, because I'm an idiot. So I basically ruined this jacket. Whoever wants it, you could have it for like, I don't even know, like 15 bucks shipped. It's a size large. Um, I'm pretty pissed about this. But, I mean, it happens. I make mistakes too. And we got a, another Golden State Warrior shark tooth. Um, the, the, the white sleeve is dirty though, and I washed it, but it's pretty well worn. Um, the rest of the jacket's nice, except for this little stain here. Um, I couldn't get that out either, but other than that, cool jacket. That pile's getting pretty big. All right, Raiders Chalkline Wool Jacket. I've never seen one of these, but it's by Chalkline to size medium. On the back, it's got a huge Raider script patch. Beautiful condition, pretty much brand new. It's a size medium. All right, that pile's actually a lot bigger than I thought. All right, let's go through some of the other things I got. I went thrifting today. I spent $1 in five stores. It was just some polo gloves. That's it. That's all I got today. Dry. Dry as hell. I got some polo gloves. All right, then I got this at the Goodwill. It's a Snoop Dogg. Doggy style from 93, but it's sealed, which is pretty sick. Brand new, never been opened. And I got this watch for a dollar. I don't know if you guys are old enough to gamble, but it is a roulette watch. Um, I'm a big fan of roulette when I gamble. And I just thought it was cool because you push this button, there's a ball in there. You push this button, it spins. And where does the ball land? Eight black. So, I thought that was cool. I got that for a dollar. I went online. These retail for $150. So, I got it for a dollar at the Goodwill. It's brand new. The roulette watch. Pretty sick. All right, on to the hats. Got this Washington Huskies Nike snapback. Um, it says the Jeep Aloha Bowl. I didn't get a chance to look up when they played in the Aloha Bowl. But, I'm assuming it's probably like 96-ish. Just judging by that Nike logo. Um, really nice condition. Maybe it needs a wash. Got this at the Goodwill, dead stock. Oh, whoa, Arizona Diamondbacks. What the hell's going on here? Outdoor cap, um, you can see the Goodwill, $3.99. Brand new, cool hat. Uh, we got this yesterday, it's a 49ers hat. It's kind of like a script design. The brim is a little off. Helmet right there, um, 49ers on the back. It says logo seven, logo seven underneath that, but Green underbrim, really nice hat. Um, I like this hat. I got this for a dollar. It's a Dream Team 2 hat. So USA Basketball. You got the Post brand there. I think it was might have been a giveaway or something. But it's really clean. Just since the Olympics just ended, this is a cool hat to have. 
not the original Dream Team, but it's from 96, Dream Team 2. All right, grab this, Florida Gator starter. Oh, it's kind of funky. I still need to restore this and wash it. Um, there is a black mark where they wrote 99 cents on a tag, and it was like the nine, the bottom loop of the nine was right there. There's one little moth bite, but other than that, pretty nice hat. You gotta clean the inside still. A nice hat. Grabbed another one of these. These are pretty rare, actually. Um, they only made them for so long. Giants A's, uh, split cap sports specialties. This is probably the nicest one I found, though, condition-wise. Um, looks sitting in someone's closet. All right, and then I grabbed this. I'm not a huge Raiders fan, but I am a huge fan of Raiders scripts. Um, corduroy single line, the cord, pretty much great condition, sports specialties. Oh, when I find these, it just makes me smile because it's OG and I love the OG stuff. So that's a really nice find. All right, onto, onto the shoes. The shoes, the kid shoes were good. The men's shoes were eh, not nothing, nothing too great. But we got some uh, 18s. These are really nice condition, size five and a half. I mean, Jumpman's pretty much full. These were 25 bucks, but I mean, look at those things. There's there's like no toe box creasing. Really nice find there. These are I found these with those. Uh, some Dub Zeros, size six Y. 100% uh, of the stars. These are lightly worn too. These were also 25 bucks. The thrifts, I mean, 25 bucks is not bad at all, but the thrifts know what they're uh, what they're doing now. And then I got these for four dollars. These were my favorite find of the week. Um, some vintage. These are OG playoff 12s. They're size 3C, I think. They're from 96, 97. So I haven't washed these. This is how they came. Four dollars, just like this. There's no OG laces, but that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. This will stay in the collection. So when little baby Soul Food SF comes along, he's gonna be rocking these. All right, grab these. These are pretty basic. Canvas Air Force One, size nine, from like 2007 or something. Nice condition. Haven't even washed these. Those were 15 bucks. These are pretty rare. And they're beat up too. These are Nike Air Alarms. These were from like 95, 96. Andre Agassi used to wear these. So it's suede here, but the paint, you, I think these might have been played tennis in, honestly. But this is a great find. I've never found one of these ever, ever, ever. So this was a, a cool find. Even though it wasn't in the, great, the greatest condition, um, it's still cool to find these. And then we grabbed these, these Iverson DMXs. I think they're the Answer 3s. Iverson there, great pristine condition. Um, pretty much nothing wrong with it. They're size 10 and a half. Unfortunately, these sold. I sold these and these gotta get shipped out today. So that's it on the shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys have a good weekend. If you're going to school, um, sorry summer's over, but you guys are gonna be able to rock all this vintage stuff to school and turn heads all day. So shout out to you guys. Like the Facebook page if you haven't. I try to put up some new, um, some new pictures and stuff. Let's get this moving. If you want some gear for school, hit me up. All right, Soul Food SF. Thanks for watching. Peace.